on Saturday morning, December 17, 2016, coinciding with the birth anniversaries of the Holy Prophet of Islam and the sixth Shia infallible leader of Imam Sadaq, peace be upon them both. A cultural office of the Grand Ayatollah Shwazi held a closing ceremony to mark the end of its activities. The ceremony was attended by several members of the Grand Ayatollah Shwazi office in Holy Karbala, representatives of the Grand Jurors, teachers and students at the Islamic Seminary of Holy Karbala, and the public groups of people and the programs of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. This cultural office started its activities on Thursday, December 15, 2016, and it hosted several meetings and conferences between religious and social experts about the latest issues of the Muslim world for three continuous days. Activities by the office of the Grand Ayatollah Shwazi, unbirth anniversaries of the Holy Prophet of Islam and Imam Sadaq, peace be upon them. The office of the Grand Ayatollah Shwazi welcomed large numbers of pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, in Holy Kabbala. The activities of this office began on December 15. I congratulate all upon this auspicious day, the birthday of Prophet Muhammad and his grandson, Imam Jafar Sadiq, peace and blessings be upon them both. I hope that all of us to be considered as a true followers of these two great personalities. I hope that our country would witness peace, comfort, prosperity, and security. The God's Messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, was sent as a mercy and messenger by Allah to all people of the world. He was the bearer of good news to those who believed in Allah and a warner to those disbelieved in His Majesty. Today the teachings, commands and instructions of God's Messenger, Prophet Muhammad, is still within us. This includes instructions and teachings about God, universe, ethics, morals, and the list goes on. We need to read about them and to benefit from this vast ocean of knowledge. Today, with the ease of access to technology, the world has turned to an interconnected society and it is viewed as a global village. There must be a need and desire for delivering the light to the world, and that light is the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad and his pure progeny, peace be upon all of them. This light must be delivered to the furthest distances, to the West world, to both the American and Australian continents. It is worth mentioning that the burden of this mission lays on the shoulders of the believers, scholars, and the lecturers. First, we must show and represent the true manners of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, and afterwards, we can explain Islam. As we all know, Islam is established on piety and good manners, and we should not forget that it was the high morals and manners of God's Messenger, Prophet Muhammad, Lord's peace be upon him, that brought people to Islam. Before the arrival of Islam, people of Arabian Peninsula were uncultured, but with the arrival of Islam, they turned into a civilized people. They became pioneers in manners, morals, wisdom, and beliefs. Just like any time before, the Muslims need to follow the high manners and the morals of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I congratulate my master, the leader, and the Imam of the age on these two felicitous occasions, the birthday of Imam Jafar Sadiq and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them both. Next, I congratulate all the Muslim community, the scholars, and all the people in the world. The Noble Quran has stated to God's Messenger, and we have not sent you, but as a mercy to the world. Thus, God's Messenger, Prophet Muhammad, is not only a mercy to Muslims, but to all people in this world and whatever in the universe. These include jinns, angels, animals, humans, and so on and so forth.
The God's Messenger, Prophet Muhammad, is a teacher for all universe, for all worlds creation. According to a narration by God's Messenger, peace be upon him, he has stated, Me and Ali, we were both created from light. When we praise the Lord, the angels praise the Lord. When we eulogize the Lord, the angels to eulogize the Lord. The sole purpose of creation of entire universe is God's Messenger and His pure, blessed, infallible progeny. From God's Messenger light, the whole entire universe was created. The laws brought by God's Messenger are the best laws. His commands are the best commands. It is the completion of Lord's message. If people of the world have followed the guidelines set by God's Messenger, they would have witnessed prosperity and success in both worlds. رسالة الرسول صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم قامت على أساس أو بنية أساسية وهي الرحمة. The God's Messenger's message is built upon peace, clemency, forgiveness, and mercy. His approach was always non-violent. Non-violent approach here means non-violent in words, speaking, and thinking. The approach of Prophet Muhammad was always defensive. Whenever the God's Messenger won a battle or a clash against the transgressors and the oppressors, he would forgive them all. He would forgive all captives, prisoners, and even supporters and propagators of the war. A clear example of this is when the God's Messenger became victorious over people of Mecca. With a long history of hatred, he forgave them all. He said to them, you all are free. When you read the Holy Quran, you would notice that its first verses and chapters start with God's mercy, forgiveness, and compassion. A true Muslim does not practice any type of violence or killing. Islam is established on guiding people and it is established on wisdom, justice, and logic. On this auspicious day, the birthday of Prophet Muhammad and Imam Sadiq, peace be upon them both, the office of the Grand Islamic Authority in Jerusalem was in the holy city of Karbala, Iraq, welcomes all believers from all countries. At this place, religious questions and queries are answered. Rabi ul Awal 17th marks the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, the seal of prophets. It also the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, direct descendant Imam Jafar Sadiq. Lord's peace and blessings be upon them both. In this blessed city, the city of Karbala, all believers, adorers, and followers of Prophet Muhammad and his pure household come together to celebrate this auspicious day by visiting the holy shrine of Prophet Muhammad's grandson, Imam Hussein, peace and blessings be upon him. The office of Grand Islamic Authority in this holy city has opened its doors to welcome all believers and pilgrims to answer their questions. This cultural office started its activities on Thursday, December 15, 2016, and it hosted several meetings and conferences between religious and social experts about latest issues of the Muslim world for three continuous days.